Today we'll be making some Jurassic Park music. The new movie comes out pretty soon and the original has one of my favorite soundtracks of all time so I thought it would be pretty fun to put together a little project based off of that. We'll be using all of the resources of my mighty recording studio. Keyboard, computer, that's pretty much it. One of these days I'll be able to afford a little bit more stuff but for the time being we'll just have to make do with what we have. Alrighty then, so the idea is basically to make a fake Jurassic Park opening sequence. When it comes to creating symphonic music, my songs can have well over a hundred instruments playing in them. And that's because rather than load up a few really large pre-recorded ensemble patches, I just prefer to use a bunch of solo instruments or smaller groups and record them one by one and actually put them back together so that I have a lot more control over every little nuance of the sound. Requires a lot more effort, but in this case we're just going to do something really simple and uh, short, so hopefully it won't take three weeks to finish. As I don't think anyone wants to watch a video that's quite so long, I'm going to do what I can to keep this one short and simple. Now one of the things that I always liked about the opening of Jurassic Park was that the Universal Studio logo comes up and it's just kind of cricket ambience, forest sounds, kind of immerses you right into the world of Jurassic Park. So I kind of want to have the same style of opening for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with some strings that kind of fades in from the background. Something with a bit of a mix of intrigue and an ominous feel. What I want is kind of an airy texture that starts to build up. I'm going to go ahead and start to add in some of the background percussive atmosphere. I went ahead and picked out some kind of scrapey, echoey sounds to use in this song. And I also turn off the metronome when I'm doing ambient type stuff because it kind of gets in the way. Just starting to add a little bit of uh, texture to it. I also have this nifty little uh, pad sound that I kind of like. I'm not 100% sure if I'll actually use it, but it sounds kind of neat. And I custom configured it so that the uh, filter on it is controllable with my keyboard. So I can not only fade it in with volume, but also frequency. Has kind of a cool primordial type sound, which I think is pretty appropriate for this. This is another one of my favorites. It's um, some rain sticks that are custom configured so that I can adjust the uh, pitch shifting and add some echoing delays that are tempo synced to the project. And um, just some cool little sound design type stuff that I like to play with but it makes for some nice little accents at certain parts. I used it a lot in my uh, Metroid Cinematica soundtrack. Now the last element that I want to add to this little intro part is a soft choral sound. I want it just to kind of hover in the background.
And on second thought, I'm really not digging those scrapes that I put in earlier all too well. So I think I'm just going to uh, mute them for now. I'll leave them there just in case I change my mind later, which I often do. That sounds a bit better, a little bit cleaner. So to round this thing out, I'm going to put in the patented boom sound. Just a thumping noise from my keyboard that has a ton of reverb on it. I like it because it's kind of transparent. It can just kind of sit in the mix and help accent things. So. We'll have one boom. And let's throw in another boom. The old boom boom routine. Because you can never have too many booms. Gonna throw in some timpani now. Maybe beef up the second one just a bit more. And I do believe that is a bit too beefy. So we're going to de-beef that a little bit. That sounds a lot better. I'm going to throw in some wind chimes as well. For the second part here, I kind of want to have a little bit more uh, intrigue and wonder starting to build up. So now we want to start hinting at the actual Jurassic Park theme. Just a couple notes at first. Kind of a teaser. Maybe it's the theme, maybe it's not. the woodwinds, the flute section kind of start with it and then maybe uh, cellos or something. I'm gonna put in a bassoon as kind of a secondary background motif. It has sort of a distant wild animal type call to it. to kind of fill in our background environment. And then we're gonna throw in some brass to kind of support everything. Build upon the role of the choir earlier. And there we go. Got some juicy brass infrastructure there. Also get the rain sticks in again as kind of a building accent. And just gonna continue on now with the supporting brass here. I'm going to start adding in a little bit more intrigue with uh, some harp glissando type effects. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy or something. But anyways. 
throw in some trembling strings just to kind of build a little bit of uh, texture and some tension. Now I'm going to re-hint at the theme with the cellos. I think I'll start it kind of low and uh, follow along with the bassoons and then it kind of jumps to its own part on the other side. Let's go ahead and bring back the choir now. Add a bit more fuel to that buildup. And to ramp up the sort of sense of wonder, I'm gonna have kind of a fluttering woodwinds presence that starts to rise up in the background as well. So to help bring out this main theme that's starting to emerge, I'm going to add some maybe trembling strings that kind of goes along with the melody of the theme but is transparent enough to sit in the background, but just kind of pump it up, you know, dun dun. But then the second part is a little bit more powerful, boom boom. And then you finally get to that actual full theme. can't really have a build up without some timpani rolls so I'm gonna start getting some of those guys going and ramping things up into our transition bills are nice so let's go ahead and listen to the whole thing and see what it sounds like Maybe some oboe trills. Kind of sounds like some sort of alert signal, like something is coming. Finally up to the main theme. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying down some of the background timpani. So I thought about using the trumpets to portray the theme, kind of like the uh, island scene in the movie, but I think I'm going to stick with the French horns because it has a bit more of a majestic type sound, which is kind of what I'm looking for in this. Now I'm going to kind of layer in a larger sized French horn section. So I want the uh, detail of the solo French horn that I recorded earlier to be more pronounced. This is just kind of adding some uh, volume to it. Now 
I'm just going to lay down some of the uh, supporting brass pad type thing in the background that keeps the melody floating. So to add a bit of uh, substance to the main theme, I'm going to add kind of a supporting cello section. Something that kind of harmonizes with the main melody and um, adds a bit of dramatic flair to it. going to add some swelling trills to it to kind of enhance the sense of wonder. I want it to be nostalgic, but I don't want it to be contrived because I have fond memories of Jurassic Park and the music from childhood and I just wanted to have a sense of fading back into distant memory or something. So let's have a listen to the whole composition now. I think that'll work. So that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of this little Jurassic Park project. It actually took about a day and a half from start to finish to do the music and to do the little video sequence that went with it. There's hours and hours of just tweaking with stuff that's really boring to watch so this is kind of edited down a lot but I hope you enjoyed this video. Jurassic Park came out 22 years ago on June 11th. I went to the theater and saw it when I was 10 and it was pretty much the most awesome thing I've ever seen. So it's pretty cool to be having a new Jurassic Park coming out and hopefully it doesn't suck. I did actually record the process of making the video that goes with this, but I kind of figured it would be a bit too long and boring to watch all of that as well. So I'm just going to leave it at this for now. It's my first little walkthrough type video. I might do some more in the future if anybody's interested. But for now, thanks for watching.